Phoenicia, California is a beautiful historic city located in Solano County, right off of the Carquina Strait. Phoenicia is known for maintaining its small town feel while having great proximity to the rest of the bay, its highly rated schools, and its extraordinary scenery. There are so many pros, but are you aware of the cons? Today, I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of Benicia, California. If you're thinking about making the move, this is the video for you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica Monroe, I'm a Bay Area Realtor with Remax Gold, and I specialize in Solano County. Benicia is such a unique city, given its ability to preserve history through its several museums and gorgeous Victorian homes dating back to the 1800s. While continuing to honor and preserve its history, Benicia also has a thriving industrial park and refinery, as well as several different residential neighborhoods offering anything from a bungalow to a mansion that's close to 4,000 square feet. Let's dive a little deeper to see how each of these elements impact the pros and cons of Benicia. The first pro and what Benicia is most notoriously known for is its small town feel. The community works so hard together to support smaller boutiques, cafes, restaurants, all that line First Street. It's a very walkable downtown, dog friendly, and people actually look you in the eye to say hello. Some of my favorite locations to frequent is Daughter Luna, which has the most unbelievable selection of seasonal flowers. One House Bakery, where the co-owner and head pastry chef used to work at Bouchon and Thomas Keller's French Laundry. They have incredible artisanal breads, beautiful pastries, buttery croissants, It'll definitely satisfy any craving you may have. And Bella Siena, which is arguably the most fine dining restaurant in Venetia. Beautiful views, beautiful scenery, and it has incredible Italian food. The city works to produce several community events throughout the year, such as the Farmer's Market, which occurs every Thursday, Movies Under the Stars, which is a summer favorite held at City Park at the gazebo, and the annual Art Walk, which happens every second Saturday through October, really showcasing and embracing the rich culture of art in Venetia. The city has worked to preserve so many of its landmarks and historical monuments. Many are located in the Venetia Arsenal, such as the Clock Tower, the Camel Barns, the Lieutenant's Quarters. The well-preserved history definitely aids in that feeling of a small town, a city that's clearly very proud of its heritage and history. Pro number two are the diverse styles of homes that are offered within the city. There are nearly 10 residential neighborhoods within the small city of Benicia, offering anything from a bungalow, which you'll often find around the Hillcrest neighborhood, somewhere around the 700 square foot to 1300 square foot size. Currently there is a three bed, two bathroom house, 1335 square feet, offered at 650,000. The Hillcrest neighborhood is one of the more affordable neighborhoods. It's great for first time home buyers who are trying to get their foot into Benicia. A polar opposite neighborhood is Water's End, just to give you an idea of how diverse the home styles are. Water's End is Benicia's newest development. Homes were constructed between 2004 and 2008, generally ranging in size from 2,700 square feet to almost 4,000 square feet. And many homes back to green space, which provides easy access to bike and hiking trails and great proximity to schools. Homes for sale are few and far between and Waters End. This year alone, there's only been six sales ranging from 900,000 to 1.2 million. Venetia's historic downtown showcases some of the most beautifully preserved Victorian homes on the west and east side of First Street. Many of the homes have been beautifully renovated, maintaining the architectural style of the exterior and featuring more modern amenities in the interior. Many of the homes date back to the late 1800s or early 1900s, some with water views, all within walking distance to all the shops, cafes, restaurants that First Street and downtown have to offer. Most of the homes sold this year in downtown range from 800,000 to 1.2 million. Some of the list prices were as low as 650,000, but given today's market and the lack of inventory, especially in Benicia, there's just not a lot of turnover. Homes went more than 100,000 above the listed price. There are so many more neighborhoods that bridge the gap between these extremes. Southampton has a lot of great single 
single-family homes. The Arsenal and the Marina feature a lot of condos, which are, again, more affordable. Pro number three are the highly rated schools, which is a large reason why so many families flock to Benicia. If you visit greatschools.org, you'll notice that nearly all the schools are rated significantly higher than the state or country average. Greatschools.org bases their ranking system off of academic progress, test scores, and equity, meaning how underprivileged or underserved children are thriving. I encourage you to visit the website yourself and do your own research as everybody has a different opinion as to what constitutes as a great school. Pro number four are the vast amounts of green space, and recreational activities available to the residents of Benicia. There are something like 38 parks in Benicia that are both state and locally owned. They offer activities such as fishing, disc golf, soccer, and baseball fields. There are walking trails and biking paths. For boat lovers, there's the Benicia Yacht Club, the boat launch on the west end, and the incredible marina with, again, a nice paved walking or biking path. There are so many fun, healthy outdoor activities available Available to everyone, you're bound to find something exciting that'll keep you occupied year-round. Let's move on to the cons, as every city has their own list of cons. Con number one would be the cost of housing. Benicia is definitely viewed as one of the more expensive cities of Solano County, and I'm going to show you a few examples compared to neighboring cities such as Vallejo and Fairfield. This first home is located in Benicia. It's an active listing, and it's currently offered at $629,000. It's three bedroom, two full bath, about 1,400 square feet. It's noted to have all original finishes from 1988 and definitely needs some updating. Let's compare that to a home found in Fairfield, which is currently active as well. And this is listed for 9,000 less, so 620,000. This home has four bedrooms, three full bath, nearly 2,300 square feet. It was built the same year and features some upgrades such as tile flooring, granite countertops, newer stainless steel appliances, and landscaping. Another example, a home just recently sold around the Hillcrest neighborhood for 910,000 in Benicia. It was four bedroom, two and a half bath, about 1,900 square feet, built in 1969. Compare that to another house that sold recently in East Vallejo in the golf course community of Hiddenbrook. This home was five bedroom, three full bath, about 3,300 square feet, and had a quarter acre lot, also built in 2003. Both both homes are beautiful and they're in very desirable neighborhoods. They have great access to freeways and grocery stores. So much of Benicia's home prices are driven by the lack of inventory, the great reputation of schools, and the idyllic scenery. Although compared to the rest of Solano County, Benicia is more expensive than neighboring cities, it is far more affordable than a majority of the Bay Area. Let's take a look at a home that recently sold in San Francisco for $1.2 million. It's a two bedroom, one full bath, just shy of a thousand square feet. The home is located in Portero Hill. Let's compare that to a home that recently sold in Benicia, also for 1.2 million. This house was five bedroom, four full bath, 3,800 square feet. Obviously the proximity to the city is not comparable, but the home in Benicia is nearly 3,000 square feet larger for the same price point. Con number two is pretty blatantly obvious. It's the Valero Benicia Refinery. So much of Benicia is so beautifully preserved. It's got pristine water views and the refinery can definitely be an eyesore, especially for homes that would otherwise have unobstructed panoramic water views. The refinery happens to be one of the largest employers of Benicia and Solano citizens, so there is good that comes in with a little bit of an eyesore. You just have to weigh whether or not that makes sense for you. Con number three would be no BART. BART is such a convenient and widely used mode of transportation, and unfortunately, it just doesn't reach us in the North Bay. There is BART access about 15 minutes away in the neighboring city of Concord or Martinez. You can also take a 15 minute drive up to Vallejo where you catch the ferry. It's the least stressful mode of transportation. 
there's Wi-Fi, there's even wine and beer. It takes about an hour and drops you right off in Embarcadero, where you can catch any train necessary to get you where you need to go. If you're thinking about making the move to Solano County, check out my pros and cons of Vallejo and pros and cons of Fairfield. It'll definitely get your research started. And as always, feel free to reach out to me with any specific questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell so you're notified when I post my next video.